Welcome to the second quarter. For this quarter, we'll be discussing about the subject trigonometry. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relationship between the sides and angles of triangles. It came from the Greek word trigonon, which means triangle, and Metron, which means measure. Trigonometry has two parts. The plane trigonometry, which we'll be dealing with, and the spherical trigonometry. In short, we will be discussing about triangles and its properties. Triangle is a three-sided polygon. It composed of three points called vertices, three sides, and three angles. And it has two variations. The classification of triangle according to angles and according to sides. For the classification of triangle according to angles, it includes the right triangle, the acute triangle, the equangular triangle, and the obtuse triangle. And for the classification of the triangle according to sides, we have equilateral, isosceles, and scalene triangle. Our topic for today will be circular functions. And at the end of the lesson, you will achieve the following objectives. First, you're going to illustrate the unit circle and the relationship between linear and angular measures of a central angle in a unit circle. Second, convert degree measure to region measure and vice versa. So, are you ready? Let's start and prepare your modules or your reference. We will start with the angle measure. An angle is formed by rotating a ray about its endpoint. We name angle using one capital letter by its vertex or three capital letters including its vertex. Or it can be a Greek letter in which we will be using along our discussions. We express unit of an angle in terms of degrees, minutes, seconds, or regions. An angle is in the standard position if it is drawn in a condition plane with its vertex at the origin and its side on the positive x-axis. The positive x-axis will serve as our initial side and the line where it point will be the terminal side. When the angle rotate counterclockwise, then it is positive. But when the angle rotates clockwise, then the sign will be negative. We have this unit circle with one as a radius. We created an angle from the standard position moving counterclockwise. We name this angle as theta. Since the center of the circle is at the region of the Cartesian plane, the angle that we had created is called a central angle. Central angle is an angle with vertex at the origin and endpoint located at the circumference of a circle. Remember, one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. And we have 1 degree is 60 minutes. 
The symbol means can be abbreviated by using single quotation mark. Then, one minute is equal to 60 seconds, which can be abbreviated by double quotation mark. Now, the question is, how are we going to convert revolution to degrees, minutes, and seconds? So, for our first example, how many degrees in 3 fourth revolution? Remember, in one revolution, there is 360 degrees. So for our solution, 3 fourth revolution will be multiplied by 360 degrees over 1 revolution. So crush out the revolution unit in 3 fourth and 1. Then we have 3 times 360 degrees divided by, by 4. Simplify. Then we have 3 times 360 and that is 1080. So we have 1080 degrees divided by 4. And we come up with 270 degrees. So we can say that 3 fourth revolution is equal to 270 degrees. You are doing good with our example number one. How about if the direction of our rotation is clockwise? It's having a negative revolution. So, this is our example number two for negative revolution. How many degrees in negative one part revolution? So this will be the solution. Negative 1 fourth revolution times by 360 degrees over 1 revolution. Crush out both revolution unit. And we have negative 1 times 360 degrees divided by 4. So negative 360 degrees divided by 4. 360 degrees divided by 4 is 90, negative 90 degrees. As a conclusion, 1 fourth revolution is equal to negative 90 degrees. Do you want to solve? Well, get your paper and your pen. For example number 3, solve this in just 30 seconds. How many degrees in two-third revolution? Timer starts now. Time is up. I know you're right. Let's check. Two third revolution will multiply by 360 degrees over one revolution. Crash out both revolution unit. So we come up with two times 360 degrees divided by three. Then simplify. Two times 360 is 720 degrees divided by three and we have 240 degrees. We can say that two-third revolution is equal to 240 degrees. Well, I hope you were right. We have done with the conversion of the revolution into degrees, minutes, and seconds. 
How about conversion of minutes and seconds into decimal? In our example number 4, convert 10 degrees, 30 minutes, and 18 seconds into decimal. First thing to do, separate degrees into minutes and seconds. Then, 30 minutes will be multiplied by 1 degree over 60 minutes. Crush out the unit minutes and we come up with 0 0.5 degrees. For 18 seconds, multiply it by 1 degree over 3600 seconds. Then, crush out seconds. So we have 18 degrees divided by 3600. And we come up with 0 0.005 degrees. Then find the sum of 10 degrees, 0 0.5 degrees, and 0 0.005 degrees. So that is 10.505, or that is 10 and 505 thousands degrees. For example, number 5, we have 79.251 degrees. Convert decimal degrees into minutes and seconds. The same with the example number 4 process, but we need to do it in a reversed way. Separate whole number 79 degrees and 0 0.251 degrees. So 0 0.251 degree will be multiplied by 60 minutes over 1 degree. Then, crush out degree or the unit degree. So we have 15.06 minutes. Separate 15 minutes and 0 0.06 minutes. So 0 0.06 minutes times 60 seconds over 1 minute. Crush out minutes and we have 0 0.06 times 60 seconds and that is 3.6 seconds then combine all the numbers and the units so we have 79 degrees 15 minutes and 3.6 seconds very good so do you want to try so for example number six convert 28 degrees 15 minutes and 30 seconds into decimal and your answer will be checked after this break. The Radio Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Welcome back! Convert 28 degrees, 15 minutes, and 30 seconds into decimal. Let's check your answer. 28 degrees plus 15 minutes times 1 degree over 60 minutes. Crush out minutes. Then we have 15 degrees over 60 plus 30 seconds times 1 degrees over 3600 minutes. 
and that is 30 degrees over 3600 then simplify we have 28 degrees plus 0 0.25 degrees plus 0 0.00833 degrees to sum it up we have 28.25833 degrees very good i know you were right for angle measure we all know that one revolution is 360 degrees but in radian measure one revolution is equal to 2 pi so we talk about radian measure it is a dimensionless measure of an angle so we have this table table for region and angle measure so if you have one fourth revolution that is pi over two in region measure while in angle measure that is 90 degrees in one half revolution that is pi in region measure in 180 degrees in angle measure and for three fourth revolution that is 3 pi over 2 or 3 pi halves which is in the angular measure that is 270 degrees so you hear the table about angle measure and region measure now how are we going to convert region into angle measure so for example for example number 7 convert 30 degrees into region measure so in this case we'll be using pi is equal to 180 degrees since one revolution is equal to 2 pi which is 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees and 30 degrees multiplied by pi over 180 degrees crush out the unit degrees and we have 30 pi over 180 then simplify and that is pi over 6 rad remember that the word rad can be either present or not it doesn't matter so example number eight i want you to try 45 degrees into region measure so I'll be giving you 20 seconds. Timer starts now. Time is up. So we're going to check. 45 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. That is 45 pi over 180. Simplify. So we have pi over 4 rad. That's right, you're doing good. In converting angle measure into region measure, convert 2 pi over 3 into angle measure. Solution 2 pi over 3 times 180 degrees over pi. Crush out pi and we have 360 degrees over 3. So, 360 divided by 3, and that is 120 degrees. Now, it's your turn. Convert 4 pi over 3 into angle measure. Just answer this in a matter of 20 seconds. Timer starts now. Time is up. Let's check. 4 pi over 3 times 480 degrees over pi is equal to 720 degrees over 3. 720 degrees divided by 3, then that is 240 degrees. 
So that's good. You're improving. Now, you know how to convert region in angular measure. Then we proceed to relation between arc, angle, and region. So we have circle O with a central angle of theta and an intercepted arc S. To write its formula, arc is equal to radius times the angle expressed in regions. So the angle should be converted into regions. So in symbol, S is equal to R times theta. For example, number 11, find the length of the arc subtended by a central angle 35 degrees in a circle whose radius is 12 feet. So these are the given. Radius is 12 feet. That is R is equal to 12. 35 degrees, that is R theta. So convert 35 degrees to region measure. So we have 35 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. 35 pi over 180, then simplify. So we have 7 pi over 36. All we need to solve is the length of the arc, which is S. So solution, S is equal to R times theta. So substitute the value of R and theta. And we have S is equal to 12 times 7 pi over 36. Simplify. So we have 7 pi over 3. Convert pi into 3.1416. Then we have 7 times 3.1416 divided by 3. And that is 7.3 feet. Whereas the length of the arc is 7.3 feet. I want you to solve this. If an arc 30 feet long subtends an angle of 2 pi over 3 regions at the center of a circle, find its radius. So solve this in just 30 seconds. Timer starts. Time's up! Let's check! We have this given length of an arc, which is 30 feet. And theta, that is 2 pi over 3. So find the radius or the variable r. So solution. So for the solution, manipulate the formula. Since we have s is equal to r theta, then solve in terms of r. So we have r is equal to s over theta then substitute the given 30 feet divided by 2 pi over 3 simplify so we got 90 feet over 2 pi convert pi into 3.1416 then divide so we have 14.3 feet so very good you're doing great for the applications of our topic today we will touch some physics application using the trigonometry method. So we will discuss the linear and angular velocity. When you say velocity, it is a speed with direction. In this case, we are dealing with a motion in an object. Linear velocity is the velocity of an object in a straight line which we are referring to distance over time. While if you talk about angular velocity, it refers to how much an object spins, rotates, or turns. It is somewhat a rotation in a circular motion over time. 
In our illustration, I have two wheels. The bigger wheel has a radius of 3 feet and the smaller wheel has a radius of 1 feet. Now, which among two wheels will run fast or rotate fast? Is it the smaller wheel or the bigger wheel? Can you guess what is the answer? Well, let's find out. But for this time, we'll be right back after this break. The Radio Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. We are back! To understand the concept of the angular and linear velocity, we will connect the formula about the relation between arc, angle, and radian. This is arc is equal to radius times the angle expressed in terms of regions. So this is our illustration and derivation. Assume that point P rotates around the circumference of a wheel and it creates an arc V and an angle of omega or W with a given radius. So we have this V is equal to R omega or RW where V stands for linear velocity, R stands for the radius, and omega or W stands for angular velocity. In our second illustration, remember that linear velocity refers to a distance over time, in which the distance refers to S or our arc. So we can say that V is equal to S over T. And that is for linear velocity. But for angular velocity, that is W is equal to theta over time. Where W or omega is angular velocity. Theta is angle in terms of region. And T refers to to time. So we have formula for angular and linear velocity which is V is equal to RW. For linear velocity, we have V is equal to S over T. And for angular velocity, we have W is equal to theta over T. Which among two wheels will run fast? And rotate fast. For our bigger wheel, we have a radius of 3 feet and angular velocity of 100 revolution per minute. While for the smaller wheel, we have a radius of 1 feet and angular velocity of 100 revolution per minute. So in our given wheel, it is specified that they have the same angular velocity. The given for the bigger wheel, we have radius is equal to 3 feet 
and angular velocity or w which is 100 revolution per minute remember that our w or our omega should be converted into radian measure and we need to multiply 2 pi over 1 revolution then w is equal to 100 revolution over 1 minute times 2 pi over 1 revolution crush out revolution unit and we have 200 pi over 1 minute we are talking about which will run fast then we are asked to solve for the linear velocity since we have radius and angular velocity we can use v is equal to r w v is equal to r w substitute the given then we have v is equal to 3 feet times 200 pi over 1 minute simplify v is equal to 600 pi feet over 1 minute convert pi into 3.1416 then we come up with 1884.96 feet per minute for the smaller wheel we have radius of 1 feet and our omega or w as 100 revolution per minute we know that w is 200 pi per minute then v is equal to r w substitute the given then v is equal to 1 feet times 200 feet over 1 minute convert pi into 3.1416 and we have 200 times 3.1416 feet over 1 minute then we come up with 628.32 feet per minute we can say that bigger wheel will run fast if they have the same angular velocity I think that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in to Z Radio Escuela of Dabao de Oro. I'm hoping you learned a lot for today's topic. See you in the next episode of our pre-calculus subject. Thank you and have a nice day. Mabuhay. Bye-bye. Rajas Escuela Executive Committee the school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Sasso 5. Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco. School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Viponte. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene D. Lim. Dr. Elvitis B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. D. Bolfer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banias Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anjara L. Martesho William R. Lanara Joan T. Escoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Lee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Arais.